yeah hi friends so far we learned on how to create uh, sorry um how to do the retirement using uh, different scenarios so one is uh, how to retire the asset um, uh, using uh, with, the, with the customer and how to retire um, the asset without customer so now i'm going to show you on how to do the uh, asset retirement by scrapping so you can do the scrapping of the asset so um, the asset scrapping transaction is like sometimes th those assets is not we cannot use it so that should be sale as a scrap and uh, here um, you can double click on this and you can go and now i want to use an asset which is uh, actually aw01n which is explorer okay so here this is the asset i am going to use it so here i'm going to use this asset which is uh, depreciated until may but i'm i'm scrapping in the month of june which is on the 10th of june so now how to post this transaction so to do this transaction so you need to go to the 10 june 2020 t so asset scrapping scrapping means you don't have any revenue okay please note on and uh, there should be everything must be recorded as a loss for you so what will be the loss the system is going to do the calculation so it, if the asset is acquired prior year and you can do the prior year acquisitions or current year you can select the current year acquisition so uh, if you leave this blank then the system uh, will automatically do this also so if i enter so you can see now so uh, this is how uh, the system is showing uh, the posting so what the system is doing here so if you really look into the system so um, if i um, let's say uh, summarize by the posting so the system is taking it like a net book value so this is a, if you look into this you can see the number one is the cost of the asset number two is the accumulated depreciation and then number three which is a net book value so let's say if you have the cost 900 and then 75 is your accumulated depreciation then actual net book value of the asset is a 25 because this entire value will be treated as a scrap which is a loss so the system is going to do the posting for this loss so here i am going to do the posting click on post so if you see the transaction here um, you can go now how to check the document after you done the posting so here you can go to the asset display document is here uh, be, sorry so we need to go into the positions transfer ab03 is the uh, document yeah here i think sorry so you can see here so what is this ab03 like fb03 for our finance documents ab03 for as a document and uh, so you can click on here so press enter so here this is the document which is posted by the system so what is the accounting document you can click on the accounting document so this is the accounting document posted and the asset document posted by the system is this is the asset document so here yeah. so if you double click on this yeah you can see the uh, relevant details for each depreciation area so you can see um, the each depreciation area how the system is taken out the values here 
um, by the by the system so this is how you can display the document after posting so now if you go into the same asset and refresh so let's see so what happened and you refresh post values so everything got zero yeah so here you can see the planned values here so let's say if you want more details you can see here so like um, the asset uh, line item document number line item so let's click on ok so you see now so actually what happens here this is the financial document and this is a asset document which is created by the system you can see the documents how the system is posted so here you can see this is a retirement and what we have posted and then another one is a scrapping of the asset so this is how all the transactions will be shown by the system so all these transactions will be shown by the system let's say um, here is uh, uh, the transactions tab which will be appear on the planned values only yeah so but when you go to the posted values no the system don't show just only show the depreciation uh, information so here don't confuse with this uh, ordinary depreciation why it's showing minus because the system will do value adjustment to take out the depreciation and and, and from the asset so thank you guys this is how you can do the scrapping of the asset and uh, yeah so let's see in the next session about uh, the, the other topic